for erect posture, we need our erector spinae to work. So we need those back extensions to work. And I know sometimes we get very taboo about working your back muscles and Pilates because we're constantly working on your abs. I mean, like I said last time, we hardly ever have somebody who's weaker in their back than their abs. It's usually the other way around. But we do need to strengthen these muscles and recognize them for their ability to lengthen our spine, right? They lengthen and hold us there. And my favorite test for this, kind of not a fair test for an average person, but a fair dancer. We'll think of a dancer first. If you try and sit somebody in long sit who's flexible, they sit long sit, meaning legs straight out in front and they're sitting up their back up straight. So many flexible people cannot sit with their back up straight. And it's not because their hamstrings aren't long enough. It's because their back extensors aren't strong enough. For an average person who's a little tighter or a little older, they're not gonna be able to sit in long sit because their hamstrings are pulling too tight. But if you have them bend their knees a little bit and pull up, they should be able to sit up with their back straight. But if you notice somebody can't do that, you could start thinking about, hmm, I wonder how strong their back extensors are. Are they strong enough to hold them upright in that position? Maybe not. Maybe I wanna modify my exercise and drop their legs so that we can get their back upright until we get strong enough to hold the back upright with the legs up higher.